Hi, I'm Jesse Barna, president of 360 Works. I'm going to be doing a very quick run through today showing how to sync WordPress with FileMaker Server using MirrorSync. I'm going to be starting with a new WordPress installation right here. You can see I've created this fooling around post and I've got an empty FileMaker database as well that has no tables in it at the moment. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, add new tables to the FileMaker database to store the WordPress tables. So I'm just going to jump in and get started quickly. I'm not going to spend a lot of time discussing the options as I go because we have other longer tutorial videos and I wanted to keep this one just very short to show you the steps involved. So my hub database is going to be MySQL. I have it running on my own laptop so I put in my own IP address. I'll put in my MySQL username and password for the WordPress database and now Marisync knows what my hub database is. The spoke database is um, the database that will be created or inserted from the hub database at the initial sync. So in this case, that's going to be FileMaker Server. I've created a WordPress database on FileMaker Server, and here I'm getting a list of all the databases. And as you'll see, I don't have it in my list. And the reason is because I need to enable the FMXML extended privilege set. So I'm going to switch quickly to FileMaker and enable that privilege set, and that should cause it to show up in my list of enabled databases. I'm going to turn that on for all of the privilege sets that will be syncing, which in this case is just the full access privilege. And now when I choose my list of databases, I see it there. So I just wanted to show that in case you run into that problem while you're trying to set this up. You can have multiple spokes. So if we wanted, we could have one MySQL database with multiple FileMaker servers, but I'm only doing one right now. And now I've just got three copy and paste operations that I'm going to do quickly. I'm going to, the first step that I'm doing right now is copying uh, one table. It's a mirror sync table. The second step that I'll do is copying a folder with three scripts in it. And the third thing that I'll do is copying some layout elements that I'll paste onto the existing MirrorSync layout. That layout got created automatically when I pasted the MirrorSync table. So don't create a new layout here. Just uh, blank out the existing layout, remove everything on it and then paste in the contents of the clipboard. So I'm going to paste in what MirrorSync put on my clipboard. And uh, I, I don't need to do the rest of this. This is just cosmetic, but I'm going to shrink this layout to make it look a little nicer. Okay, I've done those three steps. And on the next screen, MirrorSync is going to tell me that if I have any existing tables that I need to add a, a primary key, a creation timestamp, and a modification timestamp. I'm not going to do that because I don't have any existing tables in FileMaker. I'm going to pull them all from my SQL. And you can see that here, create this table. At the end of this process, MirrorSync will actually create these FileMaker tables for us. Um, I don't need to worry about time zones in, in this example, so I'm going to click no for that question. And uh, I'm, gonna, I, I'm not explaining the stuff in that screen because you can read the documentation to learn more about those. I do need to have a modification timestamp in my MySQL tables. Um, WordPress does not have one by default in all tables, so I'm going to just create a new modification timestamp field, and then I'll do the same thing for creation timestamp. So this is actually going to the, the MySQL database and modifying the schema and adding a new modification timestamp and creation timestamp to MySQL. This is the most tricky part of the process, honestly. Um, you have to know a little bit about WordPress to do this. What, I, what MirrorSync needs to know here is it needs to know what all of my foreign keys are um, between uh, the tables in MySQL. And so for that, you can just follow along with this video and do the same steps yourself. Um, I got this list by going to the WordPress website and looking at the database schema and it has a list of all the foreign keys in the database. So I know these from just reading that website. And for the most part, these are self-explanatory, like anything that ends in ID, like post underscore ID, I know goes with posts. Um, and in this came, this is one exception, post author goes with the users table. But uh, for the most part, it's easy to figure out. Object ID here goes with the posts table. Term taxonomy ID goes to term taxonomy. And then uh, term ID goes with term. 
So you can see a lot of these are easy to figure out. There are a few exceptions where it's not straightforward from the naming. Um, so just follow along on this video to set these up. User ID goes with users. And I don't think there are any foreign keys to worry about in the users table. There's not, so I can skip that. On the next screen, it just shows me a quick visual summary of the relationship graph based on what I picked in the last screen. You can rearrange things to make it a little easier to see. Just check everything looks correct here and then go to the next step. So that completes. Uh, so now Marisync knows all the configurations. It is going to create new FileMaker tables on my clipboard based on the MySQL tables. This is kind of neat. If I go, I don't need to even create these tables at all in FileMaker. I'm just going to paste them. And if I look at them, I can see that they've got all of the metadata needed. There's all of my primary keys, my modification timestamps, the, uh, the field types match the MySQL field types. So all this is done for me. So you could use this to add these tables to an existing FileMaker database, or you could create them in a brand new FileMaker database like what I'm doing here. Now I'm going to copy some of these script steps. And I'm going to paste them into my Marisync script. This is the part where Marisync has written my entire sync script for me. And all I need to do is paste it. And I am now done with the configuration process. So all that's left to do is run the sync. Let's do that now. So this is uh, doing the initial sync. In the initial sync, it expects that the spoke database, which in this case is FileMaker, is empty and contains no records. Um, it will warn you if there, are spoke, if there are records in the spoke, it will warn you that it's going to delete them. So I didn't have any records because I pasted all new tables. And so now all the records are being copied from MySQL and being inserted into FileMaker server. I think it's almost done. And there it goes. That took 28 seconds for that initial sync. And I can see that there were nine insertions in this post table. So if I jump over to these layouts, these got created automatically when I post the tables. There's my nine records corresponding to my, mirrors, uh, my WordPress thing. So here's the test thing that I had. Quick Brown Fox, you can see that got inserted for me automatically in FileMaker. Uh, so that worked great for my initial sync. Let's see what happens when we do an incremental sync. Let's make a change on the WordPress side. Publish that. Now I'm going to jump over to Mirror Sync. And I'm going to run this sync. So this should just copy over a few records. WordPress actually creates a variety of different records when you create a new post. So it's not just one record, but Mirror Sync knows everything that it needs to do and it copied them all over. And so there's my record. Let's see if this syncs. So we can see the incremental syncs are working. Let's try another feature of MirrorSync, which is the auto sync feature. I'm now going to set this to automatically sync every second. So I don't need to come back and hit the sync now button anymore. MirrorSync is just going to check every second. I don't know if I would do it every second in a real production environment. It's a little bit hard in the MySQL database, but uh, it makes the demo a little bit easier to understand. I would probably sync every maybe 30 seconds or 60 seconds. Um, so that you have a fairly quick, uh, uh, a low latency. So I added that post and it immediately appears in FileMaker because my auto sync is running in the background. Let's try changing in FileMaker and see if it changes in WordPress. So I made a change here in FileMaker. I'm going to switch over in WordPress. And I'm not seeing the change. Oh, I, I think I know why. Yeah, the reason that didn't happen is because remember I said WordPress creates multiple versions of the records. So one of those was like an archive version. One of those was the real thing. So I needed to change the real thing. And so there, there's the change that I just made in FileMaker. So you can see I've got bi-directional syncing working, um, running every second in the background, syncing all the different mirror sync, uh, WordPress tables. It took about 10 minutes to set up. Uh, and so hopefully this uh, makes a lot of sense and is easy to understand. If you'd like to set up MirrorSync on your own server, uh, you can go to MirrorSync.com to download it. Uh, and here's all the web information. If you want to get pricing for what I just did, 
you would go to get a license key, you would add a new configuration. MirrorSync pricing is based on configurations. So I'm syncing a non-FileMaker database, MySQL, with FileMaker server. So I'll pick those two options and that sets my price, which in this case is $1,300. So it's $1,300 anytime you want to sync any MySQL database with FileMaker server. It doesn't need to be WordPress. That's just what I was demonstrating here. Uh, I hope this video has been helpful. You can get a demo version of MirrorSync by sending an email to infobox at 360works.com. Thanks a lot for watching.